of Opening Walleye 2012, and on this day we've gone from everything from 75 degrees, it feels like it's 50 here within an hour, we had thundering, rainstorms, everything else. These guys went out and had a phenomenal day. So uh, tell us a little bit about what happened here today and how, how your success went. Well really, we, we was in four or five feet of water and I couldn't believe it, you know, you just worked the jig in the middle yeah. and they would just come and slam it. Not only the northerns, but the walleyes and also the perch. The two perch right couldn't out. believe it. Well, you know, this is the kind of day where everybody gets a little wet and they come in but it takes walleye technicians like these guys that have been coming up here for many years uh, to go out and to bring in the meat. So uh, once again, guys, it's a beautiful stringer. Uh, it's really starting to rain now, but uh, it was a great day. I'm glad you got a good day of fishing. Well, thanks. We appreciate it. Great day at Wilderness Resort. You bet. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're into uh, Tuesday of the first week. Bert and I would just get the uh, hog roast together for our big cookout today. And we just started seeing this amount of fish coming into the uh, fish cleaning building where we are now. So, uh, guys, you gotta tell me a little bit how today went. It was a rough day. Yeah, it looks it, <laughs> it looks it. They were, they were biting good. Uh, you just had to find them, and once you did, you were on a honey pot. Well, I tell you what, you guys really got into them. And, uh, Last night you had a bit of a visitor? A little bit. What was we it? didn't see him. We, didn't we see thought him. you guys were taking care of the trash, but it was uh, <laughs> and doing a bad job of it because there's a little trail of trash out to the woods there. So We had a uh, black bear come in last night, what isn't common. This is the time of the year that they start. And uh, they ripped the trash can apart, got into your grease, and ate a watermelon. <laughs> so, <laughs> night shifted good. And uh, Dick here is holding a gorgeous white fish. And uh, it's a really corker. Uh, it's, it's a nice size one. So, uh, hey, how are the accommodations? Great. 100% awesome as usual. These guys, you guys do not sleep. I swear you are, you go all the time. Nothing is left to, uh, you know, it's just what you guys do is totally awesome. And that's why we thought you were emptying the trash last night. I was mowing the lawn and the lawn. So all right, great Stay job guys. Speechless. <laughs> Don't eat these. We're having the uh, beef tonight and uh, great job once again. Thank you. Thank you Thank guys. You. All right, here we are. I'm with uh, Don and Barbara Bryant from the great state of Maine and we just got back from the Lake uh, Rowena. Uh, we slayed him. We must have brought back uh, probably 40 pounds of fish, a couple of nice walleye in there. Let a lot of nice ones go. Uh, what do you think? Great day, great weather, good company, lots of fish. Couldn't beat it. It was a lot of fun. Good time. And uh, I have to say, Barbie here struck uh, probably the highest count. But now we got to go to work and uh, get them flayed up. Fish fry tonight. <laughs> okay, it's May 27th. We're into the second day of the second week, and I'm here with Joe and his crew. And it's rainy and blustery and. Everybody's a little wet, but they went to a little lake that we call No Name Lake, and you got to use the trails to get there. So, Joe, tell me what it was like out there today. It was cold and wet and rainy, but the fishing was amazing, and we might go back tomorrow. And it's a nice little lake. It's easy to find. It's easy to get to. But these are some of the outer lakes that we have you can go to and uh, catch a great stringer. Your cabins are located on the shores of beautiful Klotz Lake in northern Ontario. Our lodge constructed main lodge is centrally located for your convenience. The interior has a great room with Wi-Fi connection. It also has a fully stocked tackle shop with live bait. We take great pride in our accommodations. Our cabins are fully equipped with hot and cold running water, bathrooms, microwaves, pots, pans, utensils, coffee pot and linens. All you need to bring is your food, towels, fishing and hunting gear, and don't forget that camera to record your fantastic vacation. We have a laundry room for your convenience, along with a freezing room so you can freeze those fillets for your trip home. Our screened-in fish cleaning building has hot and cold running water along with electricity for those electric flaying knives. While you are barbecuing on one of our two sun decks, you will be able to enjoy the sunsets on beautiful Klotz Lake. At Flint Willis Resort, we take a lot of pride in our docking facilities and equipment. 
There are two docks located in the front of the cabins. Each dock has running water, lights and electricity to recharge those batteries for the next day's fishing. Our package plan consists of six days of fishing for Northern Pike, Walleye and Perch and seven nights of accommodations in our fully equipped cabins on beautiful Klotz Lake. 14 foot deluxe lawn including anchor, paddle, safety kit, rear swivel seats, landing nets, minnow buckets, and live well, battery not included. All gas included on your seven day vacation, including docking slips to include lights, water, and electricity. 11 remote lakes, fish freezing facilities, and fish cleaning facilities to include hot and cold water and electricity. Now take a look at some of 2012's fishing photos. Visit us at flintwildernessresort.com and plan your next Canadian fishing vacation.